Hello guys, welcome back, guys and gals, I'm Easy B, Easy B Tactical Channel. Uh, so today I'm going to do a quick review. I see a lot of videos around 2020 gun collections and things like that. So I'm not going to do a 2020 gun collections yet. Uh, but I do want to go through the top mil surplus firearms that I've acquired in 2020 or that I've featured in 2020. Uh, not, of all, not all of them have been featured in the channel, but I, I feel like I've been posting a lot of modern stuff lately, but I do like the mil surplus, mil sup, military surplus firearm as well. So let's go over some of the best one for me for the year. And then maybe uh, if I can, this may be the last video for the year, or if I have the time or if I'm not taking, I'm trying to take some time off, but Next week I may have another video, otherwise I'll resume in January and then I can do in January maybe the top most interesting firearms for 2020 as far as I'm concerned. Um, so anyway, let me know in the comments if you want to do, if you want to see a 20, uh, if you want to see a collection video. I'm not too much into that, but I can do one because I feel like there are so many great collections out there. Mine is still very small, uh, but uh, anyway. But I think that's the popular thing I see. A lot of people doing gun collection videos and that those seems to get a lot of views. But anyway, I'm more interested in the collection. I do have them. But I also have featured farms that do not belong to me. But some, some friend of mine who are very bigger collector than me. So some of those farms are part of their collection. Anyway, like... If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the, 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 the video to your friends or anybody who is interested in this, this kind of content. Uh, check out my Facebook page, Instagram, where I usually always post images. And without any further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to try to do this uh, in no particular order. I'm trying to do alphabetically. So let's start with the letter B. These may be more, they may not qualify fully military surplus, but some of them are, one of them is a law enforcement trading. Uh, but I do want to put them in the same category for the sake of the video, right? But without further ado, and now farms have been checked, safety checks are always Remember your rules, don't put your finger on the trigger, always assume the farm is loaded, point it in a safe direction, and I always know what's beyond your target. But all these have been safety check, we are good to go. And anyway, if something should happen, it will be me being enjoying myself or some of something around, but that's still, I mean, you, you guys are safe. So, one of my favorite, Beretta 92, 92S in this case. So this one I purchased, it was all, it was a um, uh, law enforcement trading, it was all black. Uh, I kept it black for a long time, but I, I did end up having seracoded it, and then I kept the original grip. I was just playing around with spray paint. So I made it a little bit of my own taste. I do like this color pattern. Uh, 92S Beretta with the original, you know, if, if so many of those, and I, I do like Berettas, I don't have many of them yet, but. If you see the button, the re magazine release button is on this bottom part of the slide. So the most more, the more modern ones have it up there somewhere. But it's a Beretta 92S, uh, very accurate. Well, accurate. I, I don't, I'm not saying it's the most accurate thing I've shot, but a uh, very traditional. So if you've been in the military or service, it's been a f service farm for many militaries all over the world, not just in the United States. So I remember seen this a lot when I was growing up and in the army you have a lot of those Beretta 92 so this is Beretta 92 has 15 round magazine chamber in 9 millimeter of course uh, very nice very very reliable you can keep this forever and this being a law enforcement training it was not too expensive I think maybe 300 350 dollars or something the sights are not the greatest 
they are what they are. You just either you learn how to shoot with them, or you get used to them, or you can upgrade them. One of the things I've, one of the issue I've had with this one is when I took it apart to prep it for serial coating, I dropped the little tiny ball that's part of the safety switch button, which is also a decocker. There's a tiny little ball in this mechanism, a tiny ball that's sitting on top of a spring. It flew off and I searched my work office area, my home office area, I searched it, I used magnets, I used all kind of techniques, I never found that little ball. However, the safety switch and the selector still works. What that ball does is just gives you a little bit of a, a click when you activate it. So it's just one more little switch, uh, it gives you that little retention. But anyway, I've contacted Brownells, I've contacted another company that does a lot of Beretta parts, I forgot the name, I couldn't, I couldn't find that place, uh, nobody had it, I couldn't find it, but so maybe I'll buy a second one just to get that ball, but it's, it's not a big deal because the function is still working. I was very worried that the safety switch would not work, but it's still working, so the difference as I mentioned is that if you have a regular Beretta, it takes a tiny little bit more force to move the safety, it's it just, it's hard to describe, it just does that little retention just a little bit but anyway 92 Beretta 92s in the Beretta family I really like this one this is a Beretta M81 also called nickname cheetah I believe a cheetah series it's like a baby 92 kind of in terms of design and frame but most Beretta in the 90 series all kind of look the same 80 and 90 so it's very small, this one in chamber in 32 ACP if I don't, yeah, 32 ACP if I'm not mistaken, or 765. It's very small, it feels, it fits good in my hand. It's a little beefy on the grip, but if you hold it properly, it feels very good. Sides are the same, so I ended up, I, I don't baby, well, I try to keep my firearms in good condition, but I'm not building a, a collection for value authenticity some of them yes but not these ones so anyway I, I took a little bit of paint and then added some yellow on the front side and I re-updated the white on the rear side but it's fading already so just so that I can I can use target acquisition I can improve the target acquisition and improve the side this one is pretty it shoots pretty good I haven't had a single issue with any of these two Berettas 12 round magazine one in the chamber so you're looking at 13 rounds a uh, similar design, extractor is a bit a different, but yes, exact similar design, just everything is a little a scale smaller. Uh, I've not done any modification to this one besides painting on the site. Shoots well, no issues. I like the way it feels in my hand, very um, concealable. You can carry conceal this one, uh, very easy, right? So, and then present very easily, of course. But the best way to do it is with a proper holster, right? So, but um, it has a safety switch, no decocker, and yeah, the shots on are on target. And I, I dry fire this, so uh, if you have an issue with dry fire, post a comment below. Um, very good firearm. I like this one, Beretta 90, Beretta M81, the Cheetah series. One of the Berettas I really love to get is the ones that are top loading, the tiny little Bobcat, I think one of them is the name, but um, more to come. So that was it for the B. Let's go to C, CZ. What did I get? So CZ, yeah, so I like CZs. I have modern ones, I have old ones, and then I have, one of, I have a buddy of mine who got me into more of the uh, European older farm surplus. So since then, since I met him, I blame you for that, Eric. I've kind of purchased a few more, more than I needed this past year. Let's start with this CZ52. 762 by 25. That round is very fast. It's a rifle caliber, it's a rifle level round, armor piercing, very powerful round. The same round that my PPS 43 shoots, this one. Uh, this pistol, the CZ 52, shoots that round. Um, it's very accurate. 
for his age. This is an original mill surplus, right? I uh, bought it on an auction. However, it's very accurate. Safety. It has a safety on this side. All original, all matching, serial numbers are matching. Uh, I really love how easy this is to take apart. Very quick disassembly. Just pull this two tab, you lift it, that's it. I love how easy this is. And it's a roller delayed blowback. It's a, I don't know if it's delayed, but it's a roller blowback mechanism. And I think I've done a review on this one, otherwise uh, there's a video somewhere. It's got rollers on the action. That makes it very, very, very stable, very accurate. And the recoil, for the round, for the, the power of the round, this is a very manageable pistol. And it shoots very well, I really like this one. Now let's see if I can remember how to put it back. Yep, that's it. But to release the slide, you have to pull the magazine now. Very good, yeah, it's a little bit rough on the end, I won't lie, because it's, it's not a fancy gun, it's, not, it's all steel, all steel with uh, the grip uh, plastic, so it's not the most comfortable handgun, and it's got a lot of power, so when you grab it, you gotta, you gotta be able to just be ready and put your hand in the right position, otherwise, shoots very well, no issue, CZ-52, chamber in 7.62 by 25. I think it's kind of a collectible I, and I like this one because um, I, did a, I did post another video so depending on the shade of the slide there were several batches of production this one should be one of the more collectible I think because it's a little lighter on the slide I, I think I have a video on that somewhere earlier one of my earlier videos for this year uh, yeah just cool CZ, <coughs> CZ handgun Sorry, CZ pistol. So, and I unfortunately it has import marks, but they are very barely readable. So I kind of like that. I haven't touched it. I wish it was an or, uh, one that was brought back or anything without the import marks. That would have been even better. But um, yeah, CZ 52. Another CZ. Where did you go? Right there. Another CZ in the same family. CZ 82. Same thing, this is, <clears throat> I believe, uh, I forgot, 12 round magazine. Oh, by the way, sorry, I didn't mention. <clears throat> I think this is 8 or 10 round. I don't remember now, to be honest. <laughs> That's so bad. I usually try to be well aware of my farm. So, this got to be an 8 or 10 round magazine, single stack magazine. This one is a CZ82 chamber in 9 by 18 Makarov, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. Definitely a surplus. Bought this one in very not so great condition. So I kind of I was just trying to play around and I redid the slide. I I stripped it and repainted it, but I put a little coating agent on it to make it a little more durable. And it's fading already, which is which is good. I like the patina that it's giving to the the pistol. Um, it feels like the cheetah. It also feels like my 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 bursa. Very good grip. I mean, simple design, but the way the, the cutouts are on the grip for your thumb rest and your hand print, it feels very comfortable and it shoots like that. So, uh, double action, no, single action, no. yeah, no, sing, single action, double action, yeah. Um, what else? 9 by 18, yeah, um, it's military surplus for sure. I did, uh, I do like this one. I think I want one of the things I want to do is only having on the, the wood grips. I think the brown, may, um, um, what's that wood's name? Maple wood or dark, it's a dark brown. Of, the name will come back to me, but having wood grips on this pistol and the pistol being black, the wood grips being original wood in brown, I think that it's, they're, just, they're just very beautiful. So, CZ82. Safety, yeah, this one has a safety as well. It's like a 1911, you have to cock it back to activate the safety. Ambidextric safety, which I like. You know, I do like ambidextric farm uh, um, because I try to train with both hands. A, B, C, D, F, G. So, now let's jump to the... 
Let's see. I don't remember what brand is, but it's not a spiritual surplus, it's more like collectible life. I don't think there's a. This was from Factory 11. It crushed. This is a flare gun, right? Just a flare gun. Not really a farm, but a signaling device. Flare gun pistol. This is from 1951, actually, original. It shoots uh, flares, 30 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. And I did post a video about that. I've shot this one, it's a little dirty inside. But um, check this out. I like that. It's I just it's just something cool. I, I when you go camping or if you have a, if you sail or go on a boat, I don't sail. Or if you just want to play around with uh, flares during fire, uh, the firework season safely, you can get one of these. Uh, pretty cool. So I think let's go to P. Let's assuming P. So maybe I'll get a bit of beef from this one. I don't know if this is a proper military surplus because it's a remake of a firearm, but I wanted to show it in this kind of category. This is a Polish Pioneer Arm PPS 43. I love this thing. It's such a flat shooter. It's chamber in 762 by 25, same round than this guy. This thing shoots very well. It's like a train on track. The way the round goes, very fast round, but it's very flat. Uh, I did have to do a form, uh, form one for this one to turn it into a short barrel rifle because when you buy this pistol, the foldable stock is pinned and welded to the firearm. You cannot use them. So I did have to file out, fill out a form with ATF, turn it into a short barrel rifle. When it was approved, then I sent the gun to a, the farm to a gunsmith, and then they reinstalled the proper foldable stock. I mean, if you have something, it's ideal to have it in the original way it was intended to be used, and it makes it much better. It makes it much easier to shoot when you deploy the the stock versus when you shoot as a pistol. But I really like this thing. It's old school, classic. It's very accurate and the recoil is so flat because of the design of the gun but it was a and I made a video on this one I won't go too much into it but very mass produced very easy to but it was a cheap production they just took a bunch of sheet metal and rolled it up everything is rolled up sheet, sheet metal but very smooth I mean I just it's hard to describe if you can shoot one of these or if you can buy one of these if you are really into farms get one of these may not be the most popular but this thing is very cool and you can see it in some of the video games i think even the way it racks and all that i like i love all that stuff pps 43 chamber 762 and i uh, you know i think the magazine are 30 rounds max or something like that i forgot i have a, a few of them but yeah i like this and i just i thought I, I sourced an original sling the sling is actually swiss but i I don't remember. Anyway. Okay, P, and then let's go to S. This guy, Chinese made, but SKS rifle, and I've made a video. I have a few, at least one or two videos on SKSs. I really like this thing. This is a proper surplus. You can find a lot of them online. 7.62 oh, by 39, same round as an AK-47. Attached magazine, 10 round magazine, but you can convert it and put an external magazine. I tried that, I wasn't too happy with the, the, the result. It was mostly the fault, the fault of the magazine. I bought some magazine from a website where I thought it had some quality stuff, but it was probably, it was a cheaply made magazine, so it wasn't fitting properly, so I put it back to its original condition. Um, these guys were very popular. I think they used to be very cheap. When I got into them, it was 2019 really actually, but I think I bought this one maybe 300, 350 ish or something, and now they are in 400 range or something like that. So they keep going back in, in value. This, it was supposed to be in very good condition, but I, I had two cracks on the farm and I uh, got this from Classic Farm. I didn't reach out to them, I didn't have time to deal with that. So I restored it myself, I kind of redid the wood and I re I played around, I, I was experimenting and I re, uh, how do you call that? 
I redid the metal surfaces. The name will come back to me again. You know, I bought this kit, the bluing, the bluing, and I blew, I reblued the metal. But everything else, I left it in touch, intact. It's a good rifle. I had a bit of trouble adjusting my size to make it very accurate. And by trouble is because I didn't have the proper tool. I since then got an SKS tool to use in this one. It's got a Chinese barrel because this is a, um, a Chinese model. So the barrel is more pointy for stabbing versus a knife for stabbing and cutting. So, but everything else is fine, right? Procure one somewhere. And I did put another old sling that I had on one of my bags or satchel. I just felt like it fits the firearm very well. So, SKS rifle with a cleaning rod. Everything else is original except the little cleaning pad. All the serial numbers are matching, which is great. It's very good. It was in good condition except for the two cracks I mentioned. Uh, safety. I like this one as well. Again, video games, Call of Duty. There S there's, a, there's an SKS in Call of Duty. Uh, I kept mine original. I'm not going to transform it into something modern. Chinese SKS. Let's see if I can put it back without scratching anything. Alright, so... Oh, I did make a mistake. I forgot something, but I'll go to that one at the end. Let's go to Z, Zastava. I do like some Zastava. Okay, let's do this one first. Magazine. This one is in 32 ACP as well. I think this is a 10 round, 12 round magazine. I forgot. 7.65 7, 7, 7 millimeter. And this is a Zastava M70. Compact, easy carryable, a good carry option. Um, better in comfort level, the grips are a little slim, I like that. It's got a little thumb rest here, which on the edge there it can be a little bit pokey, but it's got a safety right here. And it operates like an aim pistol, right? Safety on off, slide magazine, detention. I believe this one has a fixed bear, but I don't, I'm not sure, let me see. I'm not taking this apart in a while. No, I don't think it's a fixed bear. No, it's, I don't think it is. Anyway, uh, the one problem I have with this one is, they did mention that in the listing when I was buying it. They didn't have the proper rear sight, so this one is a tall sight that they adjusted, that they installed. It's humongous, and... You have to compensate for it so the sight doesn't match the gun and I have not sourced the proper rear sight yet. However, it's got fresh red paint so I, I'm sure it's probably hard to see that but the sight is way too big on the rear. It doesn't match the gun and I knew that buying it but I bought it like that so I'll have to find a way to, um, to properly replace that. It's got a low chamber indicator as part of the extractor, so that's cool. CZ Azastava M70. So, that's kind of the most interesting surplus 2020 -ish that I wanted to share with you guys. I think either uh, this is the, my last video of 2020 or maybe one next week if I feel the courage. And, and I, if you come to the channel, Check out my other videos, there's plenty of videos to check out, share them with your friends, do subscribe if you don't mind, share the channel, check out my Patreon page, my Instagram and my Facebook site. Um, let me know what you would like to see next, I think for 2021, maybe I can do some of my, I was actually going to do this this morning, I was going to do my top 2020 farms acquisition overall but maybe i'll save that for when we get back in january if that's something you want to see post a comment let me know if not thanks for watching stay safe and happy holidays everybody thank you